morning year one your skill shop is on the screen for today we're looking at number bonus to 10 still i would like you to match up the two images of counters on a tens frame that will go together to make number bonds to 10. If you want to get this checked, you can send this in for us to have a look at. But the work I really, really want to see from you for this week is the video from Monday. And here is your fluency. So counting backwards in twos on a number line. Can you complete the number line with all the missing numbers that should be on there? Counting backwards in twos. You can send this in again if you want us to have a look at it, which would be absolutely fantastic. Um, you can copy this off here. You can download it off the school website or you can pick a copy of it from school. Fantastic. Okay, today we're gonna to be looking at subtraction, which is something we were looking at a few weeks ago in our online learning. So we're just gonna have a little bit of a recap. So here I've got some buns. I've got some buns and how many buns do I have? So first there, the first there were how many cakes, not buns, sorry, cakes. The first part is, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. First there were nine cakes. Then so many were eaten. How many were eaten? Like I said, this one has a bite mark in, this one has a bite mark in, and this one has a bite mark in. So that's one, two, three. Three were eaten. Now there are how many cakes left? So it's one, two, three, four, five, six cakes left. So the first part is nine, then three are taken away and the remaining part is six. Let's have a look at it with candles. So first there were how many candles? Let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. So first there were six candles. The first part is six. Then how many melted? Well, we've got one, two melted, then two melted. So then two were taken away. Now there are how many candles left? Like I said, there's one, two, three, four candles left. The remaining part is four. Brilliant. So first there were how many ooh, cups? So first there were how many cups? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So first there were nine cups. The first part is nine. Then how many broke? Like I see one, two, three, four broke. So then four broke, four were taken away. The remaining part is, now there are how many cups left? One, two, three, four, five. There are five cups left. That looks like a six. I'm just gonna rewrite that. There are five cups left. The remaining part is five. I would like you to pause the screen and have a go at this one, please, and come back when you're ready to check it. Fantastic, okay. So first there were how many ducks? So let's count all the ducks together. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. There are six ducks all together. The first part is six. Then how many flew away? So I can see one, two, three, four flew away. Now, how many ducks are the left? How many ducks, what is the remaining part? Well, like I said, there's one, two ducks left. The remaining part is two. Brilliant if you got that home. If not, don't worry about it. It's how we learn things. Oh, this is a little bit different. So this time it's already got some crossed out for us. Hmm, let's just have a look at it. See, we know how to work this out. Well, we're looking for the first part and then how many are taken away, taken away and then the remaining part. So the first part is, listen, the first part is five. Let's have a look. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so the first part is five because that's how many counts we've got to start with. And then how many are taken away? Well, this is saying three are taken away. Again, I can see one, two, three have lines through. So the first part is five, and then three is taken away. What is the remaining part? How do I find my remaining part? Have a little think. My remaining part is one, two. My remaining part is two. Brilliant. Right, I'd like to pause your screens and have a go at this one for me and come back when you're ready to check it. Fantastic. Okay, so the first part is, what is our first part? The first part is three. So it's how many we had all together? One, two, three. So first there were three. The first part is three. And then how many are we taking away? How many are we taking away? Well, it says we're taking away one. So we've got one line through one of our squares. Fantastic. Now we want to know the remaining part. So what is the remaining part? The remaining part is one, two. 
the remaining part is two. Fantastic, year one. Okay, let's have a go at this one. So the first part is, the first part is five. So one, two, three, four, five. The first part is five. Then how many are taken away? We're taking away one and there is a line through this one here. So what is our remaining part? Well, our remaining part is one, two, three, four. The remaining part is four. Again, I'd like to pause your screen, have a go at this one and come back when you are ready to check it. Fantastic year one. Okay, so our first part is eight. Let's have a look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Fantastic. And then we are taking how many away? How many are we taking away? We're taking away two. So we've got a line through one, a line through two. What is our remaining part? What is our remaining part? Our remaining part is how many cars are not crossed out. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Our first part is eight. We're taking two away. Our remaining part is six. Brilliant. Okay, this time we haven't got the line through to help us. How do you think we might help, we might solve this equation? Just have a little think in your head. How might we solve this problem? Hmm. Well, let's follow our success criteria. So the first part is six. So our first part is six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so I know my first part is six. And then I am taking away five. So what can I do to represent taking away five? Have a little think. I could cross out five of my squares. So one, two, three, four, five so i've taken away five so i found the first part five been taken away what is my remaining part how many squares are not crossed out how many squares are not crossed out one square my remaining part is one fantastic okay you want to pause your screens have a go at this one come back when you're ready to check it okay let's follow our success criteria so the first part is the first part is four let's check that one two three four brilliant the first part is four and then we're going to take away two. So how do I represent taking away two? Ah, I draw a line through them. One, two. So the first part is four. Take away two equals the remaining part, which is, how? what is my remaining part? It is one, two have not been crossed out. Fantastic. Okay. Oh, which one is correct? Which one is correct? Well, this says that eight take away four equals four. Let's have a look. So our first part is eight. So I'm going to circle our first part. Eight subtract four. So I'm going to jump back four spaces. So one, two, three, four. Fantastic. So I've taken away four and my remaining part should be four. Is this correct? This is correct. Fantastic. Let's have a look at our other one. Let me change colours. So this says our first part. Oh. Our first part is eight. Let me start on the first part. The first part is eight. And then we're going to take away five. We're going to take away five. So one, two, three, four, five. Fantastic. Now our remaining part, according to this, should be four. Is our remaining part four? No. So this is not correct. Let's have a go at these ones. So I'm going to go first and then you can have a go. Which of these is correct? So I'm going to start with this one. I'm going to start with this one. So my first part is seven. So I'm going to start on seven. My first part is seven. And I'm going to take away four. So count back four spaces. So one, two, three, four. And finding my remaining part, which should be, oh, should my remaining part be five or should my remaining part be three? So this is not correct. Let's have a go at my other one. So I'm going to start on my first part. So my first part is, my first part is seven. So I'm gonna start on seven. There's seven. How many, how many am I gonna count spaces? Am I gonna count back? How many are being taken away? Well, we're taking away three. So we've got three spaces. So one, two, three. And what is my remaining part? My remaining part is four. Does that match what it says down here? Yes, so this is correct. Just year one, like to pause your screens, have a go at this one, come back when you're ready to check it. Okay, let's have a look at it together. So this, let's look at our first uh, number sentence. Our first number sentence says, our first part is four. So we're gonna start on four. And then it wants us to take away three. So to represent taking away three, we jump back three spaces. So one, two, three. And our remaining part is one. Oh, but that does not match what this number sentence says. So this is incorrect. 
let's have a look at another number sent our other number sentence. So this says our first part is four. So I'm going to start on four. And then we're going to take away three. So to take away three, we need to jump back three spaces. So one, two, three. Fantastic. And this says our remaining part is one, which matches what it says down here. So this is correct. This one is correct and this one is incorrect. Brilliant. OK, let's have a look at this one. So I want to represent this in a part, part, whole model and on a number line. So my it says our first part is nine and we are taking away two. So I'm going to start my first part is nine and I'm taking away two. Make that a bit neater. Our first part is nine and we're taking away two. So how do we represent taking away two on a number line? Have a little think. We jump back two spaces. So one, two. What is our remaining part? Our remaining part is seven. So I'm going to complete that number sentence and I'm also going to complete this part, part whole um, model. So my, what is my whole to start with? What is my whole? My whole is nine. Fantastic. My first part. Then what is my, my, I'm taking one part is two, which I'm taking away, and my remaining part is seven. Fantastic. So we'll look at this one as well. So, oh, we've got a different part today. So different part today, different part in this number line showing. So our first part is seven. So now our first part is seven. Now I want to know how many are being taken away. But we don't have the answer, but we do have our remaining part. So our remaining part is four. So to find out how many taken away, it's how many spaces we would need to jump between our first part and our remaining part. So let's have a look. One, two, three. Ah, we need to jump three spaces. So we are taking away three. So if we put that apart, our whole model, our whole will be seven. We are taking away three, which is our first, which is what one part, and our remaining part is four. Okay, year one, your worksheets for today are on the screen. I'm going to leave them there for a few seconds so you can copy them off here. You can download them off the school website or you can pick up a copy from school. It's been super amazing speaking to you. Super excited to see you in Phonics afternoon and to have you back in the classroom next week. See you soon, year one.